Hi friends, how are you? From today onwards, I am going to make a complete series for WebSphere application server uh, administration. So, in this video, I will explain what features I will cover uh, for this series. Uh, so, because earlier uh, I have created randomly video for WebSphere application server, but in lot of comment I found that uh, for proper series for the uh, training. So let's start. So what I'll uh, I will cover in this uh, training series. Let's see. In first phase, we will cover basic and overview of WebSphere, like uh, understanding Java basics and uh, server basics, J2E application structure, application server overview, architecture, difference between version and futures, and product release. In second phase, we will see installation. Uh, what kind of prerequisites are required to install WebSphere application server and how many type of installation are required like graphical and silent installation, after installation status of installation and uh, like after installation what is profiles, what is cell, nodes, servers. So we will cover in details and uh, WebSphere come in different uh, setups like uh, network deployments and uh, another uh, base another thing so those are, uh, i will also cover so in profiles we will cover application profile custom profile cell profile also i will cover admin agent profile and job manager profile okay so these kind of profile i will also cover federation how to federate application server profile or custom profile with the dmgr and what what and important uh, configuration for federation and function of federation what will change come in profile after federation so it will also cover in federation process synchronization after federation how synchronization will happen between uh, app node to dmg or no that things also will be covered system management so system management terms basically uh, we are talking about terms how to we we will manage our web server application server like uh, through admin console how to stop start servers how to manage web servers what kind of backup and recovery is available in web OS, what is the gndi and car files build cell and add remove nodes so these things we will cover application management application management installations and installation like how to application deploy install uninstall stop start so these things we will cover and jdbc configuration understanding of jdbc what kind of jdbc uh, implementation how data flow and what what parameters are required to configure a jdbc so those we will cover in, in detail cluster what is the cluster what kind of clusters available how to configure cluster how to create cluster how to deploy application in cluster so that will cover cover in cluster topic after cluster we will move into web server, config, uh, web server configuration how to do how many type of web servers is available and how to install uh, web server and how to uh, like configure web server with web server application server how to manage so this will cover we, uh, in web server configuration topic and we will also cover uh, some performance uh, scenarios how, how to we can achieve performance uh, because overall uh, depend in the performance for any good application if performance is good then application is good and last topic is about troubleshooting like uh, if any problem coming so here we, we have to see problem 
from from uh, what we need to collect and uh, after collection what, what we need to check so these thing we will see in in, in the troubleshooting part so after this video i will first start from the uh, like uh, chapter 1 uh, like basic and overview so this actually basic and overview topic basically goes for the theoretical theory basis and after uh, basic overview from installation part we will discuss about how to do the installations and so in our series uh, we will more focus on the practical part so thank you guys